Yeah, I think Jay Powell's been doing a really good job of trying to walk back the Fed's extraordinary forward guidance. The Fed doesn't know where rates are going to be a year or two from now. Okay. And they've been promising that they know how to tell us that for the last eight years. As a way to try and calm markets that, during the huge financial uh, crisis. Well, and, and during the whole QE process, we're going to stimulate. And so we've got to learn to walk back from forward guidance. So, Whether they do or we do, we've got to discount it. Well, and, and Jay Powell's been shorter statement talking about uncertainty, talking about balanced, talking about for now, but then he did let slip near the top of the cycle, that, that slipped his lips when he was giving a talk. And the top of the cycle is something really difficult for the Fed. They don't know, and they can't tell us in advance, when the last hike's going to be or when the first cut's going to be. Because if they tell us that, they just did it. Right. So you think that was a mistake? It was... Well, it was a slip. It was a Freudian slip. Yeah, it revealed a little too much. I don't think he knows where the top of the cycle is. But therefore, telling us what the forward path is, is a real problem. Now, I think the equity correction is stocks got ahead of themselves. Look at the Facebook repricing over the summer. That should have warned lots of investors, lots of momentum in tech stocks in general and the market in particular, not just Facebook. Right. So. Animal spirits have been driving stocks higher for two years. The better cash flows have been driving stocks higher for two years. Real rates were going to catch up. That, that's, that's not a news item. The market's got to adjust. But the uncertainty ahead of us, I think that's still ahead of us. All right. What, what you just said is important. The idea that the Fed has no idea where it's going to be two or three years down the road. No, no because uh, Steve Leisman talked a little bit about something yesterday that was a little calming, if you thought about it. He said, if you look at 2020, where we ultimately, the Fed ultimately expects rates to be, they haven't walked it back or changed it all that much. You're saying it doesn't matter because you've got to throw out the playbook. They don't know. We're not going to know. We're in a new era. Yeah, because it, it's this late cycle problem. Greenspan used to... What does to, late cycle mean? It means we might have to raise rates more than the market expects if the economy accelerates more than we were looking for, but that we might have to ease sooner than the market expects because it might turn on us. We don't know where the top of the cycle is. The top of the cycle is, I don't know. So we're truly data dependent, even though Fed heads have been saying that for years and years. This, this time yeah. means that we really are. We have to look at every single data point. I mean, I think they should just throw out the dot plot. But even if they don't, we investors have to. We've got to start ignoring that because they don't know where rates are going to be two years from now. That's silly. What's it going to look like? When we look at the dot plot and a third of the dots are going up and a third are going sideways and a third are going down, mm -hmm. what are we going to do with that?